I'm John Skinner, and this supports my book, Fishing the Bucktail. Well, if you've ever wondered what's going on um, under the boat when black fishing, this is it. Um, yeah, I posted a video a couple weeks ago with some underwater blackfish video, and I wasn't completely happy with it. Look at this. Yeah, so I made some adjustments to the camera, and um, my objective was to basically have um, a blackfish cam. I, I wanted a, a camera down there uh, showing what's going on under the boat. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to get the rigs uh, in there. I'm not going to bait the camera. I just want undisturbed fish. You know, I, I mean, I've got video of blackfish from scuba diving and all, but, you know, there's a diver there, so you're... Um, you're, you're kind of interfering with the natural course of things. Um, this is just what's going on. The camera's there, and uh, we get to watch. First thing is, wow, these guys are curious. And what are they looking at? I mean, this, you know, I've got like three hours of this video. I'm going to post something like 12 minutes. Well, a lot of times they swim right up to the camera. What is it... Uh, you know, do they think that camera lens is an eye? I, I can't figure it out. There's no food there. It's just a camera laying on the bottom. But huh, over and over, they swim right up to it. So they're very curious. That last one just swam by with a jig in its mouth, uh, one that had got broken off, and there it was. Okay, so here's a drop. Um, boy, there's going to be, at least for me, a lot to learn from this. Uh, yeah, and, and one of the things is motion... Um, stirring up the bottom silt but I mean all right they, look there's no bait here they love that that puff of, of silt and uh, here they come They're just coming over looking right at it and so part of this video is just going to be sitting here <laughs> checking out their uh, their behavior which is really neat but I've got some parts in here I think there's really some things to learn I, I can say for sure uh, some of the stuff I saw in this video is um, it's going to cause me to fish a little bit differently and I'll narrate all the way through, but um, there'll be some gaps when I'm waiting for something to talk about. And, you know, in those little gaps, you can just watch the fish. But uh, there's definitely a few points that uh, I want to touch upon as we hit the different segments of video. All right, here's the first big lesson for me, the silt. I mean, you saw them kicking up silt, but this here, um, you're going to get to see a, a, a jig drop, and boy, but it, it's going to be hard to make out what's going on because what's happening is they're kicking up. A, there's the drop. There it is. Um, it's going to go up and down a couple of times. This is stirring up a tremendous amount of silt. Now, we had four guys up in the boat. We had three guys on one side of the boat uh, on the, the down current side. There wasn't a lot of current. Um, so the fourth guy was on the up current side, and he was catching all, he was catching like as many keepers as the rest of the boat combined. Um, now he will tell you that it's due to his superior fishing skills, and yeah, maybe that's true. Um, at the time, we thought it was due to the structure, and I got to tell you, after watching this and watching hours of this, what I saw is this. When there was the commotion associated with fish going after a jig, it created a tremendous silt cloud. And you know, some of it, I mean, you, you can see here, it's, it's terrible. I have clips of video where it's way worse, but then you don't see anything. Um, so I can imagine in that case where he was up current and getting a lot of action, stirring up a lot of silt, you know, he's up current in the cleaner water and we're sitting back in the silt. So could that have something to do with his productivity? Uh, I can tell you this, next time I'm in that situation, I'm going to be fishing up current. I'm going to try to stay up in that clearer water because uh, this just makes a tremendous mess of the water when they're feeding. 
and I pulled up there. Um, what I was doing was moving the camera every once in a while because I have no idea whether I'm getting good video or not. So I'm moving it around, just hoping I'm going to get some good video. You can see, uh, you know, I had some clear water there, and there was nothing. So I've moved the camera around now, stirred up the bottom. Now within a few seconds of stirring up the bottom, the little bergals are uh, in the area no time at all. Now uh, you can imagine there's the, you know, the, the puff uh, of you know, some disturbance, and now we've got some bergals around, and it won't be long after the bergals that the blackfish will start moving into this. And something else I noticed um, in watching hours of this, you almost never saw one blackfish. If you saw one blackfish, there was a second, maybe a third, a fourth. Um, yeah, they didn't seem to be loners at all. There always seemed to be a couple of them together. Okay, lower left-hand corner. There's a fluke. This is the day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> this is way after fluke season, so... Um, yeah, I was kind of surprised to see him. Uh, he has a nice one. Now I've heard people say for black fishing to just put your bait down, let it sit on the bottom, don't move it. Well, I can tell you, after watching this, um, yeah, there's, there's no way I'm going to be doing that. I mean, I, I really prefer to jig for blackfish, but I'm still mostly just, you know, li leaving that jig down still. If I don't get any hits, I'm going to move it around a little bit. But after seeing this, to see the way that they react to some motion and to see their level of curiosity, uh, yeah, I think getting their attention is a good thing. And, you know, for me, you know, I really like... Uh, Going with like a white or a chartreuse jig, I'm, I'm not tending to want to uh, blend into the bottom. I've always thought it's a good idea to be seen. And this kind of reinforces that. Uh, you know, what, what are these fish doing looking at the camera? Well, it's, it kind of stands out. It's this black piece of plastic down there. It doesn't belong. It's not like everything else. So what do they do? They come over and they do this. I mean, he's checking out this piece of plastic. There's no food associated with it, yet, you know, he's right on there. So... Um, yeah, standing out a little bit, um, having some motion. This all seems like really good stuff. So I have really have no clue how big these blackfish are. It's very deceptive, I mean, because... I know there's small, uh, small bergals down there, and uh, yeah, when they're close to the camera, they look pretty big. So I just think when those blackfish are a little bit away from the camera and they look big, yeah, they're probably pretty big. Uh, we had, uh, like I said, four guys fishing. We had close to 40 keepers, but we didn't have anything big on this particular trip. The best we did was about six pounds. Uh, but um, yeah, there were a lot of decent ones, uh, four or five pounds. And, uh, yeah, so it's hard to say how big this guy is because he's too close, but sure uh, are fun to watch. So I got an interesting drop of the camera here. I managed to plant it like right in the structure. I'm on top of something next to something else. And um, yeah, I've got a, a nice little angle pointing up, so I'm, I'm going to get a pretty good view once the uh, silt clears out. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave you with this segment, uh, a few minutes of really nice action of watching fish come in. And uh, so, we, yeah, obviously, we've seen blackfish, bergals, there were small sea bass, uh, we saw the fluke. Uh, the only other fish was just... Yeah, you had to really be paying attention on the way down on the first drop. There was a mackerel tail. We had no idea there were mackerel around. Um, but in seeing the camera going up and down, reviewing the video, yep, they were there. Um, in fact, um, you know, a couple times they were, uh, you know, like right below the camera as you went through the, the middle of the water column. So, yeah, but this is, uh, for me, this was real interesting. I hope you found it interesting, too, and uh, hope it um, helps with your blackfish. All right, enjoy the uh, 
rest of the scenery.